Morning, Ed. What are you doing in your scruffy clothes? I know, I'm not in my scruffy clothes. I'm in my work clothes. I'm getting itchy feet. I want to get some DIY done. Welcome back to another vlog, everyone. Today, I'm going to get on with some DIY. I know you've all been missing my DIY tips. And like I say, I'm getting real itchy feet. Let's go and see what project I've got on today. So today we're at my mum and dad's uh, house at, at Chateau Le Gorse and um, for a while now I've been promising them that we'll make them a kind of bar area and a bit of a shaded area. There used to actually be something here. here. Um, it was a pigeonerie, uh, so like a little pigeon house, um, but it was built during the war and we think maybe the Germans built it. So. We kind of got rid of it, it was in a really bad way anyway, so it was all concrete, so we got rid of that. And now we're going to build this uh, this bar come shaded area. Um, it's going to have like a uh, like a, a worktop in it and a little wash basin, maybe a fridge and some place for some glasses. Just something very simple, something looking really good. Ed, you renovated this place a while back now. Yeah, it's quite a while ago um, and then slowly but surely we've been finishing off the renovation. Um, and we've got to a stage now where we can do things like this, have a bit of fun putting in a bar area and a shaded area. Don't want to be too close to the pool though. Um, I've got my design brief off my mum. She says, yeah, nice, nice size area, but not um, kind of too close to the pool. So I think we're possibly going to have, it's gonna be, I, I'm going to have to design it after, but somewhere around here maybe. Um, but. Alongside the pool, I don't, I don't want to be too close, so we're going to come along here maybe. And depending on the, uh, the height that we start at, uh, we'll decide how far out we can come because we want a decent, uh, a decent slope on the, on the roof so that we don't have any, uh, any drips coming in through the roof. So Ed, what you actually want is for me or you to be in the pool or your mum to be in the pool and just waving at you and asking for a drink. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, I you know what? It's kind of uh, kids have their play area in the pool, and this is the adult play area where we can surf cold beer, cold champagne, maybe. Cold glass of wine or a soft drink. Yeah, to be honest, it's such a sun trap here. You know, these parasols don't last particularly long. No, unfortunately. Uh, my dad's always needing a parasol, so we need somewhere for him to sit so we can read his book by the pool um, in the shade. Just basically out here but not in the sun all the time. It is. So I think we should start measuring on that. It's what height we're going from. What's stopping me here is this ventilation. I don't want it on the inside so I think that's going to be a high enough roof anyway. Yes. So I can see a little red blob there. I can't see very well. It's that bright. Three meters ten. Three meters ten. That's good. That's the top of the tile. So we'll probably take off twenty centimeters. Uh, so we'll be at two meters ninety. I'm going to pop that in my telephone, and then we can go from there. From two meters ninety, we have to have a certain uh, kind of uh, fall, and that certain fall will dictate how big an area we can come out to here. Mm -hmm for tables and table and chairs or sofa or whatever you want out here but uh, I don't want it to come too low so maybe maximum 
well, minimum 1 meter 90 or taller. So I think it possibly could get somewhere around here. Um, but yeah, we just need to calculate that. Uh, also, is this picture kind of trapezium? So, in, to keep that same distance from mm -hmm. the pool, it's going to mean that come in, there's going to be not much room left between the area where we want to cut off from the pool and what's left to the wall. So, I'm hoping that we can get somewhere around here. So, it's going to have the bar area where you are, Anna. Mm -hmm. and then, hell yeah. Fairly large area here, shaded. Perfect. What's going on, Ed? You're thinking. Yeah, it's not going to be easy with this trapezium and not being too close to the pool. I don't think we're going to be able to be parallel with the pool. I think we're going to have to go perpendicular to this wall. Otherwise, we're going to be cutting loads of tiles. I don't want to do that. It's going to look, look not so good and uh, it's going to be a right ball lake. So we're going to keep it um, perpendicular to this wall. It doesn't need to be too big for the actual uh, bar area width-wise or depth-wise. And then afterwards we're going to possibly come in a little bit on an angle. I'll have to figure that out. And like I say, we get to a place where around here and we're going to be done. So mm -hmm. I think to start with I need to measure my width that I want to do. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then figure out how far I can come, and maybe draw out on the floor a little bit. What's going to dictate the width of this, I think, is the worktop that we're going to use. But the worktop's around here, um, and we were on television uh, cutting an oak tree um, to keep worktops, and we kept one of the thicker worktops from our parents. It's the actual centre of the tree. Let's go measure it, and uh, let's see, see how it's looking. So, you can hear Adrian, uh, our, our trusty new uh, uh, guy that we're working with. Um, he's on the uh, streamer at the moment, making quite a bit of noise, but he is. it's working, so. Yeah. Good. So this is the worktop. It's the center of the tree that we cut down. Now, I'm going to tidy it up, make it square, just literally cut it. Uh, so it's not going to be a huge worktop. You don't need a huge worktop. You're not cooking in there. No. Down here, it started to crack a little. So I'm thinking of cutting around here, uh, which is looking like uh, two meters seventy, I think. So not your standard IKEA worktop size or Lero and Merlin worktop size. Um, it's two meters seventy. So let's go back over there and uh, mm -hmm. measure that out. measure about the width of what we're going to use of that. So the final width of the worktop is going to be about um, about 50 centimetres. And I'm, I'm thinking, really, you need a good 90 centimetres. In fact, a metre. We'll say mm -hmm. a metre, so uh, behind the worktop. So we're going to be about 1 metre 50 from the wall mm -hmm. all the way along. So we move these slightly. This is a problem with the parasols. Um, we get quite bad wind in this area as well, and so it pulls the parasols over, and you end up breaking all the uh, stones to hold the parasols down. That's your meter. This is the kind of uh, back edge of the worktop. Um, it's going to need, yeah, it's going to need some kind of wood to, to hide uh, everything as well. So, you know, that five centimetres of this rail is probably about right. Um, so, two metres seventy. Okay, so that's where that muck is on it. I 
think what I'm best doing is, uh, is getting this laid out as if it's kind of the, the blueprint of it and then get my mum over to see what she thinks of it. That's a good idea. Because she may want the bar to be more forward or less big or something. Well, yeah, we'll see. Okay, so that's parallel with this wall, so we're good there. Now, the shaded area, I don't think we need a huge, huge amount. No, just enough. You know what? If, it, if mom's happy with this width, mm -hmm. then we might be able to just do it in one full section rather than having to come in. Um, I thought that wood round there was a lot, uh, a lot longer, but it's not. I need to get a set square to get it bang on. It's okay, we trust you, Ed. We know you're going to get it right. I wonder whether that's a big enough area for a couple of chairs. I think it will be. You mean uh, just seating chairs? Yeah. Yeah, like a cities and, you know, a bit like a set that you buy from your local hardware store. I think so. Right. I think two, two by two. Is it like a four meter square there? Or a bit more even? I think it's three. I think these are about three meters. Before we go any further, I'm going to go get a set square so I know that I'm square and uh, you know I'm staying parallel and, and, and square. But I'm going to have a little bit of a problem up here because this mm -hmm. um, is sending water this way. Of course, we don't want water in the bar. So what I'm thinking of doing is taking the tiles at least to the ridge here mm -hmm. and getting rid of this. Well, I mean, you can leave it because it's not going to have any rain on it, I don't think. But taking the tiles to the ridge there and even maybe finishing up at that height on the ridge, wherever we finish. Yeah. If we can get to there, it'd be great. Um, and yeah, let's get that square and then wait for Mum to come back and uh, see what she thinks. So now you're checking out the square, if it's square or if it's right? Yeah, and it's uh, not. Well, it's it come over a bit gives us more room and that's good because you told me that you think one might want uh -huh. more space behind for some maybe a cabinet like even if it's an old one but she can put glasses there a little fridge okay yeah i'm thinking to just take this out to, to the three meters anyway yeah because it just gives us a bit of extra playroom. I know we like putting those posts there, covering the side in as well. Yeah. So that just gives us a bit of room for, for a bit of woodwork here. And then of course the woodwork at the back is just what it is, you know? So we're gonna go for three meters. Good idea. Yeah, I mean, if we can keep it at that, I'm pretty sure that's enough room around the pool. Yes, it's a nice space and that's perfect. Yeah, there's only, it's not gonna be a wall here. It's just gonna be a post here. Exactly and some, somehow attach it to the top of the wall there. Might have to cut into it, uh, I think that's the best way. I'll cut into that top tile there, um, smooth it off maybe with some concrete, and then get some raw bolts down with a, with a little bit of like how to attach the wood. We'll see. Just a few hours work, or maybe... Oh, I've done in a couple of hours. Huh? I know you will, lad. Okay, right, let's wait for Mum to get here and we'll see what she thinks. Come in, Mum. Come have a look what you think. So, let me explain. It's not very easy to see because it's only a bit of metal on the floor at the moment. But we've got a, a roof coming down here. Imagine. Use your imagination. We've got a roof coming down here, and it's going to end up about this height. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a slanted roof. This is all just open with a post there, mm. and then we're going to have a bar here, so it's like kind of closed off from the rest of it. Mm. And then a 50 centimetre worktop. And I think you said you wanted a, a, something here for your glasses, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And then closed off at the side slightly, but then passage to get in. What do you think? Perfect. Perfect? Aww. Well, I, I, do, I do try. <laughs> um, okay, well that's, that's great. What I'll do now then, I'm gonna whip off and get some wood to put up there. Mm -hmm. We don't want to put holes into this wall, we just want to bolt onto it no, with the wood. Uh, so I'm going to have to get a few kind of wood, pieces of wood going across. I think I'll have another post here. So we're going to have one piece going across, another piece going across here, and then here. Have it span right across to here to the last piece going across. And then all spars coming down. Some, 
French call volige, and, and then the tiles. How do you connect to that roof then? We're not. Oh. What we're doing is we're leaving this roof, mm -hmm. and over here, and, and in the middle, we're going to have like the wood that's coming along here is going to go into that, and right. it's going to carry on to the edge of the building, and then this wood here is going to be supported on there and go to the edge of the building. And basically, what it means is that all along here, there won't be any rain coming in. Mm -hmm. It's going to be protected by a roof further out. Okay. Barbara. You don't need to do much there. No, he doesn't need to do much. And I like how it was a little idea, but it's going to be... <laughs> turned into a monster. Yes! <laughs> Typical Ed. But there was a building there before from 19... 44. And we had to take it down when we renovated it, so we're putting it back, really. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just going to be a simple outdoor... Well, simple, I mean, simple, simple for us. Yeah. Simple outdoor, kind of like bar-ish area. We're not going to do any washing up here. We're going to have a tap and obviously a wash base. Maybe a sink, yeah. Yeah, uh, just an Ikea, maybe um, uh, inox, so like a stainless steel sink cut into that wooden top. And, uh, and yeah, it's just going to be a lovely little outdoor spot. So we're finished now for today. Um, please follow us next week when we'll be actually constructing the structure. I'd say I'd get it done next week, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed today's vlog, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're not subscribed. See you all next week.